guys, this is CI again, um, and we're just bringing you a little graphics tutorial today. Um, I made my friend Brandon a little uh, YouTube avatar, and he's uh, he was pretty impressed by it. Uh, um, I don't consider myself that good, but he's impressed. And he's like, make a tutorial. I was like, all right. Um, so that's the final product right there. It has a nice color on it. Um, some sh uh, I don't know how to, what to call that. Some broken up text, some glass, and a flare in the back, and a flare back there. This is overall pretty cool avatar. Um, it's usually good if you use two letters, so I'm gonna start off with CI. So, um, if you guys want this, um, I think it's yes, yeah, this one of my little text templates. Um, it will be up in the description. I'm pretty sure I haven't decided yet, but um, just put CI in there, and then choose the font here. Big Mac, I'll look now. Maybe there's one electric something yeah, right here. Oh, meant to end. Uh, no, I'm like a big Mac. Yeah. There's one more perfect dark I might use right here. Yeah, I don't like that. Big Mac. I'll put the text in there in the description too for the download link. Pretty cool text. Um, Get a good angle. I'm liking right there. Right there looks pretty cool. Um, so what you're gonna do is you select all five of your text layers, and then you're gonna go to plugin. It's Therousy, and it's pretty. I think you can get it free. Just install. It. Um, and then pieces. You're gonna put 30, and then just keep the settings the way it is, and then click break now. Now you can break them up into pieces. It's pretty quick, it only takes like a minute. Okay, it's going past 100%, a little weird. Um, yeah, but guys, right now, I just got taken a new role. Um, I'm kind of in an internship right now with Voltra. Um, I'm doing a little recruiting work and just getting my, to see what, how they like me. If I, they like me, I'm going to be a full recruiter. Maybe, um, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking, I, I'm trying to get full recruiter. I'm trying to do my best right now. So if you guys think that you have a chance of getting um, partnered, or if you're trying to get partnered, uh, leave your channel link in the description. I'll take a look and see what I think. Um, you guys have to have a certain amount of views and stuff and uncopyrighted stuff. So I'll just take a look and I'll get back to you. But um, I'm just recruiting channels right now for them. So just leave your channel link in the description. Um, but let's get back to the tutorial. Alright, so it just broke all of the pieces. So you're going to select all these objects. And then once selected, you're going to click Alt G. And that's going to put them into a null object. If you want, if you don't want to go to the command, go to objects, null, and then you just drag them all in. Um, with the null object select, you're going to do a MoGraph, a Vector, and Random. Put the random in there, in the null object. Go to the Effector tab and bring it down to 3. Put the, uh, yeah, put the parameter at 40, 40, oh, that's 4,000. Why does it keep going 4,000? 40, there you go. And then you go to deformer and go to deformation and put it to point. That kind of breaks it up all over. And if you want it so it's more breaking up, you just go back to effector and raise the strength. You can get it really crazy, but that's not my book. I think I liked it at like four. Four looks pretty good. I like that. Okay, let's render that out. Um save it as YouTube Avi. And make sure you have alpha channel and PNG selected. Go into Photoshop without rendering, create a new document. 250 by 250 is the uh, default size. And then make it a black background. Um, and if you guys didn't know, I'm from the tech game, 
and it's a pretty cool website, so they put a link in the description for you guys to sign up. Um, so yeah. Also, um, I'll put my Skype in the description if you want to contact me and talk, because I'm pretty open right now. Um, so yeah, Skype's a good way to contact me, and this is taking an insanely long time to render. So let's just show you around the tech game a little bit, um, as that's rendering. Uh, here's your forums. You have gold member stuff, which you have to pay for. Um, general and off-topic discussion. You just kind of chill around in there, and then you go into popular games, Borderlands, Halo, Grand Theft Auto. Then Call of Duty. And you, there's lobbies in here, and that's what it was started off with. There's a lot of lobbies. If you're looking for a lobby, go. It's a good place to be too. Um, Xbox stuff, JTAGs, marketplace so you can buy a JTAG. Um, a lot of stuff. There's also PlayStation, and then there's if you're a computer guy, there's PC, PC support, graphics, and also my favorite forum, YouTube Famous, so you can um, just look at other people's work and see what they got. But yeah, so it's a pretty cool site to be on. All right, I think that's yeah, that's done rendering. So I'm gonna place the text in there. I think it was called YouTube. Yeah, there it is. YouTube Abby, place that. Let's raise it up a little bit. I think I curved it a little bit. So it just have it right about in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't like it to be perfect. Um, and then, as you see in this color right here, uh, it's a little colored. They are pretty all much all matched. So um, in the other tutorials, I had these color correction packs. They're beautiful. I love them. So I'm going to be using some of them. I'm going to have to pick one. Um, like in... I'm liking that, no, I'm liking that red one, maybe, that one, I think I'm going to use the red one, I have another red avatar yet, so, if you, I'll put up the uh, link in the description on um, how to do this, because it's a pretty useful tool, and it can make your work pretty cool, okay, so now you can see it already recolored the text to a red, um, and then let me go to my file stuff, we'll look to see what we got put in here. Um, in that avatar I showed you, I used some glass stuff. So let me see if I can find some glass. Yeah, there it is. I think I used that one. Oh, crap. Um, Also, when you're using, when you're inputting like stuff like this in flares, you're gonna change the blend mode to screen, so it sees right through the black. Put that right there, and then drag it under the text, and then duplicate that, and drag that over a little bit. Okay, with that there, um, I think I'm gonna put a little thing in the background so I'm gonna look for something. That looks pretty cool. That I've never seen this before. That looks awesome in my opinion. So I think I'm gonna leave that there for now. Um, a little too, a little too overpowering. So maybe lower the opacity. Um, light effects. Okay, let's use some of these. Um, I think I like this one because it's going to go around, I'll put it around the eye just like that. Maybe make it bigger. Yeah, I like that. I'll uh, put the screen so you can see right through it, and that looks pretty cool. Um, and then the other one I had, it was, you saw that there was a little flare that gave a little light off onto it. Um, I think it was, where was it? Not in here. Be in here. No. Flares. 
right here. So yeah, once you have the, the color correction and like uh, your text down, you can kind of just add whatever you would like. Um, just go along with what you think looks good. I'm just kind of adding in some stuff that I think will good, look good in the scene. And also, um, I tend to use a lot of space stuff. I don't know why. I think it just looks very good in this um, type of avatar and stuff. So I'll show you an example of what I'm going to use. Um, let's try this one as um, well. Let's try out of space. Base it down all the way under. That actually looks pretty cool. Alright guys, so this is just simple tutorial just showing you what it what I use to <laughs> make my avatars and stuff. And um someone complimented me so I they said to make a tutorial because it would help some people. Um so yeah, that's just how I make a little pretty simple tutorial. Pretty simple avatar actually. Um if you want more of these or want a YouTube background then um yeah, just let me know and I'll make some more videos. Thanks guys, peace.